Good morning everyone. In this video today, I'm going to discuss about uh, the coronavirus. I'm going to talk about what is coronavirus, what are the different symptoms associated with the, this 2019 um, uh, the coronavirus, and how to how to protect yourself from you know getting infected with this global outbreak and also the current status current status on this uh, uh, virus so basically this coronavirus actually it began at a seafood mar seafood and live animal market placed in Wuhan China on uh, December 12 2019 this coronavirus is also called Wuhan virus because um, it was first uh, identified in Wuhan in China this is the epicenter of this global outbreak. Therefore, it's called Wuhan coronavirus. And it is also called 2019 novel coronavirus. This virus has now spread outside of China to several other countries in Asia, in Europe, and also in the Americas. So what is this coronavirus? The corona, there are several different types of coronaviruses. This picture here shows and the basic structure of coronavirus. The basic structure of coronavirus consists of the genetic material and which is protected by the envelope and this the structure also contain these protein spikes. If you if you have a look at this picture of the coronavirus, this actually resembles the uh, appearance of the crown. You know the appearance of the crown and the appearance of the coronavirus is very similar. And in Latin, uh, crown is called corona. In, in Latin, crown is called corona. Hence, the name corona has been given to the coronavirus. So basically, the name corona, that is actually derived from the Latin, uh, Latin word corona, which means crown in English. Why the name corona has been given? Because the, the appearance of the virus uh, resembles to that of the crown. Okay, hence the name of the coronavirus is the coronavirus, corona. So, there are several different types of coronaviruses. These coronaviruses cause uh, respiratory and gastrointestinal symptoms, such as common cold, pneumonia, etc. And these are actually mild, generally mild diseases. But there are also some coronaviruses that cause severe diseases, severe diseases, such as um, severe Acute Respiratory Syndrome, SARS coronavirus, which was identified in 2003 in China. And also Middle East Respiratory Syndrome coronavirus, which was identified in 2012 in Saudi Arabia. These SARS coronavirus and MERS coronavirus, they cause severe diseases. So how this uh, corona, uh, 2019 novel coronavirus or in general coronavirus spreads from uh, the person to person? Actually, this virus, virus spreads from the sick people to the others, for example, the family members or the healthcare workers, such as doctors and paramedical staffs, etc. So how this uh, exact dynamics of how this transmission occurs is yet to be determined, but some of the assumptions are this virus transmits through the droplets. For example, when this sick person it sneezes or coughs, this virus gets transmitted from the sick to the other person. And also, when the healthy person comes in contact with something that has already been contaminated with the virus, and then also this virus gets uh, transmitted uh, from uh, to to the um, healthy person. Okay, for example, if someone consumes the meat or, or some food that is already contaminated with the virus, the person gets the virus. So, what are the different symptoms of uh, this 2019 novel coronavirus? These symptoms actually range from mild to severe. You know, the symptom, mild symptoms include fever, cough, shortness of breath, and the severe sim symptoms are pneumonia, kidney failure, and ultimately leading to the death. Okay, the exact mortality rate is yet to be determined because we, we the, 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 based on the present data, we really cannot say that what is the exact mortality rate. But uh, based on the, I mean, so far, uh, many of the, it is said that the mortality rate of this 2019 novel coronavirus is above two um, percent. 
So these are the symptoms. And how do the doctors or the physicians in the in the hospital they diagnose that okay someone is actually infected with 2019 novel coronavirus? So they perform the test called polymerase chain reaction and to detect and the genetic fingerprint present in this virus and uh, to see that you know if the person is uh, infected with this virus or not there are as far as the treatment of this 2019 novel coronavirus is concerned there are no specific medication available but doctors uh, have been giving you know supportive cures the treatments and the vaccines are in the development process so now the most important question is okay 2019 novel uh, global uh, novel coronavirus is a global health emergency and it is spreading very rapidly in china and also uh, to the outside world so the main, most important question comes is how to protect yourself it is uh, to protect yourself actually it is highly recommended that you cover your mouth and nose when you go outside and also try to avoid the close contact with the person you know who has the symptoms that I discussed before for example if somebody is, is sneezing coughing has cold there's something like that try to avoid the contact with those people and also it is better to wear masks um, you know, when you go outside and uh, because you don't know you know who's, who's infected with this virus or not and in the hospitals it is highly recommended that the people working in the hospitals they wear masks and also uh, personal protective equipments to protect to protect themselves from the uh, uh, from getting infected with this uh, deadly uh, 2019 novel coronavirus and hand washing you know it's a very simple uh, sanitization thing but it's it's very good to wash your hands when you come from outside and before eating or you know before touching touching anything it's highly recommended that you, know, you wash your hands with the, some antiseptics or some you know uh, such as ethanol or dettol etc to to protect yourself um, from getting infected with this virus so because uh, this uh, 2019 novel coronavirus it began from the animal so it's it's better to avoid unnecessary contact with animals and if you are consuming meat if you want to eat meat then it's highly recommended that you cook it really well um, thorough cooking so that that will kill the virus and then eat that meat so if you are feeling not well and it's better to stay at home so that you know you don't uh, transmit the virus from yourself to the other healthy persons and if you have the symptoms like fever cough or difficulty in breathing it is highly recommended that you go to the hospital and see the doctor okay so very very simple uh, sanitization procedures very simple preventive methods will help you and um, protect yourself from this 2019 novel coronavirus so what is the latest update on 2019 novel coronavirus uh, as of February 14, 2010, 10:15 GMT, the coronavirus cases in total um, number up to 64,458, uh, over 60,000 cases in China, and the death due to this 2019 novel coronavirus is uh, 1,384 people in total. Uh, among among these, this 64,458 people, 7,105 people. Um, were actually able to recover themselves um, from the supportive medical treatment received from the physicians. I hope this video was helpful uh, in understanding what is coronavirus and what are the different symptoms and how to protect yourself from this mm, deadly uh, global out outbreak. Thank you very much everyone. Please share this video uh, to protect you, your community, your country, and the world from 2019 novel coronavirus. Thank you very much.